Hello and welcome back to Retro Tech Toys. Today I want to talk about AOL's Photocam, an LCD digital camera from the year 2001. This was created exclusively for AOL members. It never needs film and it's super easy to share your photos with all your AOL friends. This camera cost about $300 when it came out. You had to order it through AOL, you had to be a member, and they would add the $300 to your monthly bill and they would send you this camera. Specs are as follows. It has 640 by 480 resolution at 24-bit color, a color LCD, display at 1.8 inch, and that is for picture taking and reviewing. Two megabytes of built-in flash memory, which gets you up to 32 pictures. A three-way flash, optical viewfinder, and compact flash memory card expansion slot upgradable to 32 megabytes. Wow. Has an image sensor PS CCD with 350,000 pixels and it takes four AA batteries, which are included. And I had the originals with this and they were not pretty. All right, looking in here, this was actually new old stock, so it's never been used. We got a photo suite CD. It's got a bunch of software on it. And opening the box, you see everything's still in plastic. There's the camera and it's in a pretty nice little case. So it was nice that they shipped it inside of the case. You've got a little strap there and other various goodies. There's a power brick that you can use to just plug it into the wall if you'd like. There are a couple of other cables in there. There's a cable to hook to like a monitor. And uh, yeah, so you could hook that to just like, you know, the video input of like a monitor or a VCR or something. And there was another little thing there. And the very last cable was like a serial cable and look at these batteries they are gross but you know what i'm gonna keep them and there's the camera and like i said they packed it in the case so that's always good at least it's shipped nice and protected and super safe and inside of the case the camera was actually wrapped in more plastic so pretty cool and there it is the america online photo cam Look at that, it's still got the plastic uh, protectant on it. I'm gonna get that all nice and peeled off. And we're gonna use this thing for the first time since it came out 18 years ago. Look at that, even the viewfinder has the plastic on it still. Ah, I love old stock. Isn't that lovely? Look at all those buttons. It's got a lot of cool things to help you navigate through the photos and your albums and all that kind of stuff and their settings but anyway let's get this plastic off i'm really excited to get this thing hooked up for the first time okay i got that off now let's flip it over and get this plastic off because we're not going to be taking any good pictures with all that plastic on there and i thought i'd mentioned before i think i already did mention this takes compact flash cards and it takes usb but i haven't figured out how to get usb working with it um and another cool thing is that it does come with a serial cable to hook to your computer, which for a minute there I actually thought it was a VGA cable, but it's not. It's a serial cable. And that's where the compact flash card goes. Now you have to have a 32 megabyte or smaller compact flash card. I've got a one gigabyte card. I tried to use it. It does not work. There's where the batteries go. And there's that serial cable I was talking about. Plug into your computer there. There's the case, and you know, there's the kind of like RF or AV cable or whatever. And there's the power brick. Thought I'd get it all laid out here in a much nicer lighting so that you could get a better look at it. And it's a pretty basic looking camera. It's got a lot of good features though. I mean, for a camera, from digital camera in 2001, you know, it's got the built-in flash and you know, it's got a bunch of ways to uh, plug in like an external monitor or, you know, anything like that. So, I mean, it's it's pretty feature packed for something from 2001. And, you know, it kind of better be for $300, right? 
there's the on off button play record display erase bunch of navigation buttons there's a little dial you can adjust on the bottom it's got a little hand grip and that's where uh, some other stuff is that's where the audio out goes there's the software cd again and unfortunately i cannot plug this thing in and try it out because I don't have any batteries. And yeah, I could plug the power brick in and that would be fine, but then it's not really very mobile, is it? So I'm gonna have to head out in a little bit and get some batteries for it. I looked everywhere. I actually found a couple of AA batteries and you know, they were dead. So what you gonna do? You can't really do anything. Luckily, I live right down the street from the Dollar Tree. So let's head on down to the Dollar Tree and we'll grab a pack of batteries and we'll take the camera with us and go outside and see what we can do and see uh, what kind of photos we can take with this thing. Ah, yes, the Dollar Tree. Magical place where everything is a buck. You can get a lot of great stuff, including batteries and... Hell, you can get 60-watt equivalent LED light bulbs there as well. Yeah, just get out of there and grab some super heavy-duty batteries. Let's see if we can get this camera working. All right, I've got my batteries installed. We're going to close it up here. And let's get this puppy turned on. We're going to use this tree over here for our picture taking. And I've got the thing turned on. Let's press the button here. And, oh, wait, there we go. Sorry, I had the batteries in wrong. All right, it's on. But as you can see, like, the LCD display doesn't really show up very well in the sun. So that's kind of a problem if you're taking pictures outside. You know, when it's sunny, you're going to have a whole lot of issues looking at that thing. Now, if I zoom in a little bit, you know, it's still kind of difficult to see, but, you know, there it is. There's the battery indicator. And there we go. You can kind of see it a little bit better now. It's kind of got a really cool 90s looking background on the menu screen. It's got a whole lot of options there, but I'm going to kick it over to picture taking mode. Let's go take a couple of pictures of this tree. You know, it takes them pretty quickly, especially for something in the year 2001. You know, it doesn't take very long to get the image captured. Close-up photos look okay, I guess, you know? I mean, for that era, you could probably get a lot better for $300 than what this camera had to offer, but it's kind of neat. Anyway, I took some photos. And I realized I have no way to show them to you because I can't get them off of the camera on my compact flash card. And the USB just, I have no idea how to get it to work. It's, it's just acting weird. I don't know if I need drivers that I don't have, but I thought I'd use my Commodore 1702 monitor and plug it into the camera like that. See if we can get an external monitor going here and we can at least display the pictures that way. Clearly with the refresh rate in my camera, it's going to look really bad, but at least it'll give you kind of an idea. So let's get this plugged into the 1702, and then let's get this end plugged into the video out of the camera. And there we go. We got a picture. It's not the best picture, but you know, it's going to have to do for now. So let's go ahead and get over to our pictures and see what they look like. And look how long it takes to load. It takes forever just to load the image. It's cute, honestly. And yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, the 1702 monitor and the refresh rate, these pictures are gonna look terrible. But let me just say, they don't look that great anyway. For 2001, they're okay. But you know, digital cameras weren't really where they needed to be then. That said, it's a lot clearer than other digital cameras I'd seen around in that era. Here's some still images that I caught off of the viewfinder, just so you can kind of get an idea. Yeah, it looks a little bit better than it did on the 1702. Haha, <laughs> there's me. And, <laughs> you know, what do you expect with an 18-year-old camera? But I thought this thing was really cool, especially like the story behind it with it only being available to AOL members. But anyway, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching Retro Tech Toys. I would love it so much if you liked and subscribed. Thank you, thank you very much. We'll see you next time.